All right, just outside of St. Louis, a farm where animal lovers can play, learn, and compete. And the best part is Purina Farms is free to visit and ready to, and open for the season. Old favorites are back, of course, and some new fun is being added to the lineup. Paige Holsey is going to tell us about both in today's Great Day for Kids, sponsored by the Magic House. All right, Paige, what fun do you have in store now? Oh, my. <laughs> oh, dear. Which one's Paige? Yeah, good morning, guys. We have moved inside the animal barn, and I'm here with my friends Melissa and Sam. This one's Melissa, this one's Sam. And we're going to milk Melissa here, just like kids can do at Purina Farms. But first, Sam, tell me how old Melissa got her name. Well, most of the animals at Purina Farms get their names from the team members that actually work here. So Melissa is actually one of our team members. <laughs> if you call Purina Farms, she will be answering the phone. Um, Melissa's name is Mo for short. Oh, there you go. How about that? And so kids can learn how to milk cows, and you teach them a few things along the way, right? So teach me how you would teach the kids to milk Melissa. Yeah, absolutely. So you are going to use your palm and your thumb and your index finger to gently squeeze down on the cow's teeth, and the milk comes right out. And what are some of the things that you're teaching the kids in the meantime? Well, I think the first thing that we're teaching the kids is that this is where milk comes from. Um, this is where butter comes from and everyone's favorite ice cream comes from because milk makes ice cream. This was a really fun fact. Did you guys know that there's more ice cream from milk than milk itself? I love that. And you teach them how much water these massive cows drink every day, right? Yes. A cow will drink a bathtub full of water in a day. Wow, which is quite a bit. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the milking happens twice a day and obviously helping Melissa feel some relief. This is one of the favorites, but what is new this season at Purina Farms? Well, first I want to talk about our magic show. So on Saturdays, we're going to have a magic show here at Purina Farms, and that is brand new to us here. We're super excited to have that because who doesn't love a great yep. magic show? And then we have added on a goat playland outside in one of our pastures where Hans and Chewy, our two Nigerian goats, will be out there jumping all over the place and having a great time. They're still close enough to all of our guests that they can pet them and interact with them because Hans and Chewy love to be pet. Um, so we're super excited about that and then we had made some changes on the second floor of our barn which is also one of kids favorites yes. that's where we have our hay play rope swings we've added a new play area up there just to change things up a little bit and give kids something new to try out here at Purina Farms. Yeah, I know my boys love riding the tractors around upstairs in the little area where they play with corn so there's yes. so much to do again for free here at Purina Farm. Sam, thank you so much for joining us. They open for the season on Saturday, just about 10 minutes west of Six Flags. They'll be open Wednesdays through Sundays, again, for free through the summer. We're live here at Purina Farms in Gray Summit. I'm Paige Chelsea with old Melissa. Yeah, old <laughs> Melissa. All right, thank you, Paige. Wash your hands and come on home.